I'm going to watch that man right out of my hair. Some enchanted evening songs that instantly say Broadway hit musical when I'm not singing. Of course, we're talking about South Pacific. I'm Sade Berenois on the set of Lincoln Center Theater's Smash Revival. It's Rogers and Hammerstein's classic story of romance, war, and prejudice. Just nominated for a fantastic 11 Tonys, this next half hour will treat you to a rare glimpse inside this epic musical as it was created, rehearsed, and polished. The result, a show the likes of which the city and Broadway enthusiasts haven't seen in more than 50 years. South Pacific combines two immensely important ingredients for a great musical. It's as romantic as it gets. got the most magnificent score. You can't help but fall in love just listening to it. First of all, the large orchestra, 30-piece orchestra, is a very big deal. 40-member cast is really close to the full size of the original Broadway show. That's a extremely large thing to pull together because when you add it up 70 full people every night it's also a lot to do scenically the stage is directly above us and this is where all of the excitement builds before each performance this is your five minute call five minutes please thank you lots of kisses it's time to get this thing in control call places thank you I think one of the geniuses about South Pacific is that the war story and the love story are so beautifully integrated into one another, it's really impossible to separate them. Navy nurse Nellie Forbush finds herself a world away from Arkansas, falling in love with plantation owner Emile DeBeck, but held back by her racial prejudice. Kelly O'Hara plays a conflicted and complex Nellie. The layers of it are so necessary because if you have a girl who's a kind of a one-note kind of gal, you're not going to believe that there are pieces of her that are confused by this, the racial prejudice that she can actually close. Physical life is so important to her as a character because she's the knucklehead. She's, she's confused. She's, she has fun. She cries. She falls in love too fast. I'm not trying to be a comedian or anything like that, but it will be one of the more fun roles I've ever gotten to play. Like her predecessors in the role, Mary Martin on Broadway and Mitzi Gaynor in the 1958 movie, Kelly signed on for the classic 1940s song. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to say, I think there are some guys that, that are having a lot more, more pain than I am about their hair being cut off. Before Kelly landed the role, names like Scarlett Johansson and Reese Witherspoon were tossed around. Yes, and that was at the point when I said, I give up, <laughs> never mind, and I went my tail between my legs and I hopped away. Um, you know, you just think there's a certain thing that you can't compete with there. Luckily for all concerned, the Broadway veteran won out. I reread the script. I kind of decided right then and there, wow, this is for me. I have to do this. I'm as corny as can.
still ahead, boot camp Broadway style, and getting ship shape for the show. Battleship, all ready for sailing. ABC 7's presentation of a salute to South Pacific is brought to you by Toyota, Hotels.com, Main Office of Tourism, and Metropolitan Jewish Home Care and Hospice.